Everybody listen to We Are Not Wizards. Because we are the best. And we're not wizards. No matter what anybody says. Goodbye. <laughs> Cult of the Deep board game review from BA Games First Impressions Cult membership must be hidden at all costs. You do not know who mugs walks among you, and you do not trust those that you walk among. And now you've said the word among repeatedly in your head like most words when you repeat it again and again. It sounds completely ridiculous. Among. Among. Try it. Among. Among. Stupid. Cult of the Deep is a hidden role game. So when you play, you'll have different character powers from other players and you'll be trying to assist other players or hinder their progress. You have different victory conditions based on who you play as and you might need to defeat all of the other players if you play as a heretic or win as a faithful if the high priest is alive and the cabalists or cabalists and heretics are dead. The different victory conditions will change depending on the number of players that take part in the game. The main gameplay of the game is actually really straightforward. You'll roll five dice and based on the results you'll then either re-roll in a Yahtzee type mechanic another two times to decide which dice you keep as you go. Those who have played any of the King of Tokyo games will be familiar with how to play. You'll then commit the results of the dice to either yourself or other players with the idea being that you're testing the water to see if you're dealing with possible allies or enemies. You can also commit dice to rituals in the center area which will grant you additional powers and effects. Some of the powers can be claimed once the rituals have been used a number of times. And even if you do get killed off, you can still play, take part in the game, but as a wraith instead. Though you're no longer able to commit dice, but you can use them on other living players, thus continuing to affect the final outcome from beyond the grave. The main strategy with Call of the Deep is to try to form allowances to allow you to guess who you're playing against and who you should try to eliminate. The only role that is public is the High Priest, which will help dictate fairly fairly earlier on where the factions are around the table where you should be concentrating your efforts. In terms of winning, winning is based on a combination of factors, but basically you're either trying to wipe everyone else out or save certain players on the table or keep certain players alive with yourself or bar yourself. With the randomness of how the roles are assigned and how many people are playing at the game, then the victory conditions will be changing on a regular basis, and it will help to keep the game fresh throughout multiple playthroughs. In terms of looks, Call of the Deep has spent a lot of money on the art and design here, with the card art fitting the theme and design extremely well. There's also those little touches that I really appreciate, like UV spot effects on the back of each of the cars that just like really stand out and look lovely. The extra quality of the individual dice in terms of their production and the glitter finish that just add that little extra piece that shows the designer wanted to give Cult of the Deep a real presence at the table. Even the rulebook cover is strangely evocative, with artwork that is unexpected but in its own way tells a story that will just will simply have you asking a question. The iconography on the cards is clear and easy to understand and that to me is important as it will not only, it'll not only be you that need to see the information but potentially other players as well. In terms of learning, well, what's this? A quick reference guide on the back page. There's detailed instructions on how to play that mention the win conditions not only once but twice in the rulebook. Multiple examples of how to play dotted throughout. Some additional variants for play. When there is a chance, the less experienced players are going to be checking out the rules as they play. It's really important the rule book is clear and easy to understand, and that's achieved very well within the cult of the deep rules. Again, I prefer a rule book that doesn't take up the size of a whole box, but we're not looking at a huge size pamphlet, and so I guess forgiveness can be given. Your big desire here is though how much of a social game this is going to be. And if you're going to be a bit more lenient with the rules for the first couple of games while everyone learns how to get the best out of the different characters that are available. 
In terms of timing, well, this is where we start to enter the your mileage may vary part of the review because this is going to be as social as it is. It's going to be mechanical. So if you just want to burn through the game with players rolling dice and knocking health of other players, then you're going to be easily getting through a round within, like, I don't know, 40 minutes, 45 minutes. That wouldn't necessarily include the learning part of things. So this is a type of game that's much more suited to learn as you play rather than a read-through followed by a game. If you bring in role-playing into events and if the players really embrace playing the characters, then there's no reason for a, g no reason for a game to last much longer. We're not talking hours here, but there's nothing going to be lost here if you take it at a slower play pace and allow the players to breathe a bit. Bring snacks, but you know, obviously make sure people wash their hands and no drinks are allowed at the table. Cult of the Deep has all the ingredients to be an excellent hidden role game with clear instructions on how to play that are displayed from the rule book to the card art. I don't see it being an issue with it being accessible to those who are new to playing games and have already cut their teeth on the likes of Coup or One Night Werewolf. There's not a huge amount to learn here and you can take the roles as far as you want to deciding to play either quick games to rack up the wins or take your time and settle into some back and forth between players as you try to bluff and double bluff the way to victory. The biggest issue with Call of the Deep comes down to the number of players that you need to get most out of the game. Even if you play a minimum of four, there's going to be an automata that will take the role of the High Priest. This needs to have five players minimum to make it worthwhile, and probably even higher numbers to make it sing. If you have an option and you're a fan of hidden role games, then I think this game's going to sit very well within your collection. You like it, your friends will like it, but it's like a mutual liking thing. It's not a cult type thing. Honest. Any tips? Even though the High Priest is common knowledge to everyone, better to start targeting others in order to confuse which role you have. Game was designed by Sam Stockton. Developed by Ed Stockton. The illustrators Liam Peters and Mauro Elko. Concept artist Charles Walton II. Graphic designers David Lee and the Imagineer Studio. This review is based on the retail version of the game provided to us by the designer and publisher. We're not paid for this review. We give a general overview of the gameplay and so not all the mechanical aspects of the game may be mentioned. The majority of the games that we play are going to take a reasonable number of sessions and playthroughs to fully understand every possibility that they offer. We hope this write-up gives you an idea of whether or not this game is something you consider playing or even add to your collection. There are six degrees of expectation have been written to make it easier for you to find out what's important to you as a player. Not anyone else, just you. And even if we don't like something, hopefully this helps you to decide if it's something that you should find out more about. We always suggest you check out a gameplay video to give you a better understanding of how of the game as it is played. If you want to see the original review, you can read it on our website, which you'll find wearenotwizards.co.uk. Thanks for listening. Remember, stay safe. Roll sixes. Make something awful. Until the bit. next time, goodbye. A wizard is never late. Is he early? He arrives precisely when he means to.